Earl is definitely the best manager ever played for. I mean, you look at his winning percentage, I think the best since World War II, 583. I mean, that, that's amazing. He had five 100-win teams. I was fortunate enough to play on two of them. I had a good year that year when I was, you know, I turned 30 years old. Um, I think part of it was that Eddie Murray came on the scene in that year too. I remember the first time I ever saw Eddie hit, and it was in spring training. I mean, I watched Eddie Murray when he came up at what, 77, batting practice down in uh, spring training in Miami. He's batting left-handed, and he's hitting balls over the right field wall, and I'm out in left field with Lee May and Pat Kelly. And we said, who's, who's this hitting? Somebody said Murray, and I said, is that his first name or his last name? And <laughs> so... And then I saw, oh, wait a minute. You know, not to mention being a switch hitter, not to mention hand-eye coordination. So then the next round of BP, he gets up and he hits right hand. He's hitting balls over our head over the fence. So everybody's starting to say, wow, this kid's got some power. What, what position does he play? Nobody knew. He said, well, let's see where he goes after he, he takes batting practice. So he went over the first base to take some ground balls. And Pat Kelly turned to Lee Man and says, Lee, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> Remember, Hank Peters, when Eddie came up in the spring of 77, wanted to send Eddie back to the minor leagues. Spring training starts, and uh, Hank Peters thinks I need to go back to Rochester. And Earl says, no, that kid got two hits the other day and drove in three, I'm gonna play him again. He said he needed more seasoning. So this continues doing spring training. Finally, um, Earl, this kid's gotta get to his team. Well, Earl told Hank Peters, the GM, he said, look, if Eddie's not on the team, I'm not going to manage the team. Earl told him, this kid's team might be here with us. So um, that means Eddie was on the team. Oh, Earl loves some Eddie. <laughs> I was always the youngest on the ball club. Believe it or not, starting the season, I was always the youngest on the ball club, I think up until like year seven or eight. Eddie was kind of quiet, and that, that was because um, you had Kenny Singleton, and it was always jump on the rookies, of course. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many times I heard, shut up, rookie, you know? <laughs> Next thing they know, it's two weeks, and I haven't said a word to any of them. They go, what's wrong with you? I said, who are you talking to? <laughs> you know? Eddie showing up really solidified the line and made my job a lot easier, too. Earl called me in the office and said, look, I'm going to move the kid up the fourth. You just do what you normally do. If you don't hit a home run, get on base so he can hit one. So that, basically, that was my job. <laughs> oh, Earl loves some Eddie. <laughs> I think Eddie and I were the best switch hitting duo in baseball history. To give you an example, the 1979 and 1980 seasons, between us, we drove in 430 runs. 215 for him and 215 for me. And uh, I remember Jim Fergosi was managing the Angels at the time, said, you guys are the most difficult team to manage against because whatever move I make out there in the bullpen, one of you guys just jump over to the other side of the plate and, uh, you know, it, it's pick your poison with either one of us. You know, Eddie, Eddie, it's almost like Eddie Murray knew what was coming, which is why he had over 500 home runs and 3,000 hits, and there's only five guys on that list. Eddie also was on his way to having a Hall of Fame career. When you went out there to play for Earl Weaver, you had the feeling that he was ahead of what was going on in the game. He wouldn't be outmanaged. You know, sometimes he got tossed out of games and we were kind of on our own. But even those days gave us a day off from him. So uh, it was uh, it was fun. There was some uh, real love there because at that particular time, there wasn't a, a, a whole lot of money there. All my teammates, I love them all. Uh, we still, I'm still in contact with a lot of them. You, you know, it was just some real love there on that ball club.